Welcome back to Court Factor, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this once again, the man Bob Brown, Black Wild Card. <clears throat> you know, I'm more than a bit disturbed at all this, and I dig it. I love that feeling of uh, that really fear because, as I said, I'm a fearless son. I don't feel fear, no American does, but especially not those from the birthplace of this, the single race nation all time, but disturbed, unnerved. I still want to know why it is that we enjoy that feeling. My best guess is it, it stems from all the way back in the caveman days, probably one of the first feelings felt, maybe when one guy had struck a stone against the wall and attempted to draw a picture, maybe a spark flew out, and that's how they discovered fire, and that's why he, uh, and also why he seemed to always want to tell others when we feel disturbed by stuff. Reaching back to that kind of time, that kind of feeling, trying to figure out between two or more people why something happened. Maybe that's why we enjoy that feeling of being disturbed and why we always seem to want to tell us about that. That's my best guess. Quite a bit of time has passed since he went and made to cafe. Can't imagine the email takes this long. Must have something shady going on. He must have been too coming up by now. I need to be getting hurt from crashing. Stand up and I'd be more visible. Crashing in the sword. The corner of this house suits me for his fire. I need to hold. I've perked a few of the actions. Taking note of every single person entering the thing. And he hasn't come back yet. There's no one's post from earlier it was right on the money. Said he would visit the movie cafe and sure enough I watched him enter. Could be knows I'm telling him. Could be a whole the whole thing could be a ruse. Might have an escape route. Power scope down now up behind the cafe. There's no other exit front away. Could have climbed out the window. Doubt it, big guy, not very fit. Even if he attempted it in such a fear, so if her heard the struggle. Keep watch here. Can't be that much longer. Cord's noise he feels it comes to him often. It's a fair place. Like we were in right now, she looks here too, according to Noah Joel. What is that was seeing him? What is Noah Joel seeing now, for that matter? The girl's boring, cute, short, but no real well personality. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. I want to tell you when I'm watching before. Oh, there he is. I'll have to follow him. Okay, from here. Looks like he's heading to the station. Easy. Here it goes. Can't believe this guy traveled to the very end of the train line. Took nearly an hour to get here. If his home is all the way out here, why the travel so far? Just keep visiting me, cafe. He wandered into this underground parking lot, so I'm guessing his apartment is just above this little tomb. Kind of surprised the tomb wasn't uh highlighted way all kinds of other stuff like that are. Huh. No one else around. Hey! Somebody there? Guess I'm not stealthy as I thought. Huh? Kajimbo? Shouldn't pay much to the motto. The tax? You found me home, dude? That's right. I have some questions. Not cool, man. You could just the enemy. Straight up to impress what test gets around tongue belly. Staying this course is sad. It's easy to see it actually much younger than I thought. The air full had higher than him. Despite his bulky build, I don't think I'm in any trouble with crushing me in a fist fight. Back off, dude, I'm warning you! I don't think I'll do that. Of course you won't. Hey, I am playing your games! Watch the evil of the circus. I'm telling you that! Watch the two. I'm the victim to the whips I killed. Tax you, man! Question three. Shut up! What is your role? I've listened. The 
questions are all important. Please answer. Disgusting gloves slide from the tools in my cheek. Snap through his fingers. Ah! Oh! Buckles where his blood is where he can slam my fists up and no one rest. Jeez, this guy's really screwed up. This guy, yeah. Uh, Cody, say with sensation, he said, for the right of his side, but his knuckles pretty good to his skin. Question one. Who runs the human rule series? Oh! Let's try to leave my fist. Let's try to watch them my face. Punch my shirt from my jaw. Talk about the world. I don't know how to be a part of it. Teeth comes loose from the mouth. Back up, I got jumping. Question two. Why are the victims of the whips I killed? Damn it! One more the fist in the face! Ah! The freaking fingers! Question three. What is your role? Jumping you try to select here. Choose my sins. It's the one. Since it's not cut off for a fight. Step aside and split for the one thing. Complete off balance. Almost with that top here. Listen, the questions are all important. Please answer. Help me! Someone help me! The psycho's trying to kill me! I'm going to turn all my cops and look at me if I can listen to it. Definitely can't ask for it. But no one can be in his health falls into the FK falls into the FK falls into the FK falls into the FK falls into the Question 1. Just keep my eye closed. If he's that death spot, I'll force pressure. You will rise to the end of the service. Ah! The girl busy growled this as soon as my mouth is desperation of corn dog. How much will you keep him so much? He's there to die. They can leave him out of the game. Sometimes that is what they sell for you. Kick him again and again. Again. One or two of the judges said it did still my soul, which comes in such a season like cooking first like that. It's supposed to be the person you might not say. Stop! Please! Slow, desperate, please, different, different, vision pounds, frustrations, just a moment ago. Big the moon, it's always pairing the hell he's talking, all against the asphalt. Question two. How are the victims of what's that kill? I'm trying to explore seeds of my body stuff. I'm going to go I'm going to go I'm going to go I'm 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 when he tries to talk about the immovable servants moved by the hell's hand. This was the next place that I was expecting. Alright. But the court operation was sold to corpse girls. So the court showed the victim merchants kill themselves. And then the sources to kill someone else. That was what my girl had discovered. That was a conclusion we reached. All had been proven incorrect. Okay, then, oops. Jeez. Question three. What is your role? I think the dog is unconscious. <coughs> Try to see how pressure our face to his wrist. Pulse is strong, and pray things for you. You won't die. I want to take action now. I told Narco I killed her. I told her to take her out. Care of our problem. Oh, jeez, this call me Allie. Junpei? Girl's voice. Soft and long pleasant. One word. The word. Terrified. Stay on my support. Sit quiet. She said first of all. Yes, I thought. What? What did you do, Junpei? I was so calm. Okay, 
best friend, best friend. Girlfriend to them, that's normal. Souls. Need to leave. I'll let you know my day. So no involved, no girl. Let's get down. I'll compel with that with that distance. So no one go. That's option one. Option two. Get. Get out of here, psycho! No, I can't think about it at all. Now I got hurt, no one will never get me. Confirmed to face Jim by another day. No relish from your job for now. Later. August for Saturday morning. Mine's what says if you came really fast and brought coffee. It's brought me a handout being blinded in friends first for my birthday. The thank you I mean Frank with chips the markets, buy fresh and rice beans. Not often lose track of the hours I spend carefully grinding greens and home aim to brew the perfect cup. Suzuko never enjoyed coffee, never had a taste for it. I didn't give up, I kept refining my technique, kept experimenting with different beans and the most of the attempt to craft something from my palate. So I got through the French press in the trash. Why? Basic, perfect, and good stuff. Just visit the cafe now for more brand coffee. Don't hit the head of glass at this cafe. Specifically, I came to the cute way to see Yeah, indeed. What gives? Maybe it was Kels. Scar to give to Suzuko and me. So he told me to probably throw away something that some lines would be held together. The three years isn't so important in the grand scheme of a lifetime. Besides, I have someone else now. Not on her, I want her. Which reminds me of Suzuko in some ways. In other ways, it couldn't be a mobster. I take out a coffee hour and just write it my mind on the giant and grab a paper cup. I could sculpt the air that my tooth used to bear. Not much for it. I'll get the desk some other time. Coffee in the air and I'll leave the cafe and make my way to my next destination. Libraries don't get the credit they deserve in this age. Quiet, calm, soothing. Doesn't always tell from me what's nice to escape the bustle of the city. Plus, they always carry over some of my favorite watches. The librarians don't pay me any mind. If there are lots to recommend, books will suit my taste. I don't feel judged here. Nobody looks at me more than just when I'm free. Nobody cares about my own face or crinkled clothes. There's nothing wrong with either of them. Nobody looks at me and this is my Mrs. Zuko. Or someone to ask. Just once. It'd be nice to know if someone cares, even if I don't. But no one knows Suzuko. No one knows. No one knew she was in my life. No one knows she's gone. I haven't told an article about her. I think she has enough on her mind right now. Told her the time is right. After wandering around, Libraries, I was aimlessly picked home from the self and ran and found Kelsey. Comfortable with this, I sit my coffee and throw for the book I've acquired. It would seem I was like an apparent biography about a famed painter I've never heard of. It will do for now, I'll read anything. Jump through the preface in the first chapter. Is it pronounced preface or preface? I'm not sure. I figured to pick up speed as I thumb through the pages never was talking more than the first line or any particular page. Boring. Dribble. I can't read this. Toss the book aside and rest the cruise for so much in. I'm no way as restless. No one I'm focused on driven. Ow! Oh, it's my birthday. It's the zoo goes in here and give me a gift. Yeah, exactly. What kids? Why did you do that, man? Perhaps I regret throwing away the French press. It's the most thoughtful birthday gift I've ever received. Perhaps I just regret losing Suzuko. I don't know. This round the other day, I wouldn't waste my time going on the past. 
Dog milk gains two more sleep states. Oh, God. 35. Damn. Where did the ears go? General really does slip for your fingers. Now, it's even been more than a year since I'm in Narco. Technically, I remember I touched the members at first meeting. Appear around the library and find a spot for my face. This problem thinks we just met here a few months ago. It's just I'm sure the question. So I'm gonna walk to the kill folk and I introduce myself. The first time we bumped into each other was at my apartment. Well, her apartment. My first apartment didn't have take much. Didn't have much to take me while I left. Bed looks the same as they did back then. Turned to quite a few last things: a couple blanks in the closet, a brown dustpan, a few knuckle bones, the usual stuff. I wanted to say goodbye one final time. To my surprise, she was there. She was carrying to the landlord castle and crying about the terms of the lease. I must have frozen my tracks when I saw her. And I was a few minutes simply staring at her. It's just beautiful, gorgeous, breathtaking. She looked like Suzuko. She looked so much like Suzuko. She looks handled with blame on Saturday Night Live. Marco Kurosawa. The name stuck in my mind. It played over and over in my head. My mom sent it off at the apartment. Marco would be moving there and making place her home, my place. Once bumped, I sold her into her back and I tried to squeeze past. She apologized, I apologized. So I was, I was leaving. Oh, no, please, it was my fault. I'm glad I saw it. Um, did you live here? Yeah. I see. Thank you for taking care of the place. I'll be moving in soon. I see. Do you think I could hear? Yes, very much so. It, it was home. I'm glad. I hope that she feels just as comfortable here. Lighted by the full miles of her face. She walked away after praising me with a polite bow. Yeah, I'll bet. Ah, jeez. The old coke back then was healthier than the girl I know now. Skin more than the skeleton, skin bones. Her keen mind has told. She's still gorgeous, still takes my breath away, just like Shizuko doing the day. She refused to leave the factory. She refused to turn her apartment. Occasionally tell Mo catch go and catch the things she needs, clothes, tight portion of food, coffee mostly. At some point I got delegated to see what the most suitable cabs in the world. Lost no kids and help visit more of herself. She gives me a bunch of photos and told me to pick up those shoes because I was impressed mostly. Not my favorite work, it's tedious and I'll have the life of as all as she does. I do what I can. Ouch. My phone begins vibrating in the back pocket. Didn't realize I was sitting on it. Yo. Where the hell are you? Library. Don't you have to live here to make today? I'm just taking my way off. Don't ask me about that. I told Tomo. Well, she didn't mention anything about it to me. So a few hours anywhere. She went to sell this morning. My birthday. It's your birthday? Yeah. I didn't know. Happy birthday. Thanks. Okay. I'll see you again this afternoon. Bye. Later. So mad at me. My defense I haven't taken to the health of corpse for a couple of weeks. Didn't think this morning would be too much to ask. I really rubbed it the wrong way. Just me this works as well as the more days of time. I didn't get much time for myself. Don't get much time to think. Probably Suzuki's face doesn't pop in 
my mind is mostly you still went there anyway. Drain the urn into my coffee cup. After you drain the urn, I book to self at the library. I'm home. Close the front door behind me. The place is always dark. Tiny sliver of sunlight filters in front and from a gap between the curves. I like this way. Spend on I spend countless nights under the door and holy lights in the morning. The floors and go misses with my eyes. So I keep my apartment dark, it's comforting. The place is small. Small my last apartment at any rate, Marco's apartment. Tiny living space, one bedroom, kitchenette. Bathroom's pretty full. Half size tub with a shower head above it. Toilet, no sink. You see, use the kitchen sink here to finish my business. That's home. Moving here to the side with my old place with the things I need the extra so I could die. Through with so much of my life back then, I'm almost a completely different person now. Almost. Kept my habits, mannerisms, parts of me. People find weird, off-putting. Does he mean weird? Does he mean weird? Probably weird. The difference between the two is weird as an odd, like a good thing, and uh, weird as in like stalkers and that kind of crap, like he is. Apparently, it's not a kill. Can't help it, that's just how I am. All those crooked shoes Suzuku couldn't stand are still with me. This is gone, I'm still here. Reminds me of uh, Johnny Cash, my sweet there's uh, I speak his name, because he served in the military. Uh, his final song, Hurt, said that you are someone else, I'm still right here. It was originally a Nine Inch Nails song, but they actually. Uh, the leader of the band, I forget what his name is, actually said after Johnny Cash had done that that uh, it was pretty much pretty much said it was his song after that because he was that impressed by it. I'll put the link to that song in the description. Come on. Say my head to say my boss. What birthday? What pointless day? Blow on a pistol to suit me. Moved on from Suzuko a while, a long time ago. I'm stuck on a bird on a stay because of my birthday, because it still reminds me of that damn French prince above me. But it's gone now, and she's gone. All it means is me. It's the way it's always been. Probably the way it always will be. Enough! Time for work. Don't find like staying in the lacing. Off towards the tall, narrow cabin in the far corner of my living space. Hoist the door open over my clean white lab coat. It's not staying dusty like the one I keep near the window. It's my goof coat, the one I think is the best day. It's like my birthday. White coat is lifting, comfortable on the white napkin inside the white cabinet. I like the color white, so there's no purpose. Boom! Oh, when it's alone, but with the red and blue, you get the American flag, oh boy! Despite the useless color, the American hold coat does serve purpose. Carries my treasure possessions. Oh, see, it's not telling it's a dead body. Perhaps Mac is the most favorite word for it, but we'll do. So I grab my coat, sleeve catches on back its fingers. I'm talking to Jim Lee to release the coat from the neck and blow me away. Later. Dad will find you saying goodbye in a few rooms. He used to be fine when rooms were truly empty. Yeah, that's what I thought. His old girlfriend, maybe? Not so funny anymore. Not when that face stares at me from within the cabinet. Nothing to tell about it. Birthday. Thanks. Don't have a gift for you. Sorry. Oh, God. Walk around.
wants your hat off the helpless and honors his company. Now if you're not, you so awkward and embarrassed. I... I just said no, that's all. I know. Seems true at this point, so I'm not going to have one more day. Look to my mom's family, has no kiss in his face today. I'm sorry, I don't have a reasonable excuse. It's fine, really. It's only in Jersey today. I'm not very worried and disgusting. I hate my birthday. I hate Suzuko for leaving me. Oh, Chris, you know, sweeps the strain, 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 the hair behind your ear, contemplates the question. Twelve to live is, time on has already prepared the bodies. It's just waiting in the van, sent the photos to the victim. Only twelve today, not getting any more requests. All today's to live is just part of that back to work. Not many corpses left here, actually. I just walk our way through most of them. After the morgue gets in, I say. Things seem to be slowing down. The copycat is still in that business. Just know it. Maybe. Oh, that reminds me. What happened to Alice's boyfriend? What do you mean? I can't believe I forgot about it. I'm going to kill him. Oh. Somehow I'd forgotten about that too. Caught my own head today. Junpei Matsumoto. See that? Unlikely. Heard him going, but now I'd ride for him no further. Damn it. Does this see you? Yeah. She doesn't know me now. I suppose. Wait, you didn't hurt her, did you? Okay, well, if you had told me that, I'll forget this game. So I'm back and it gets me voice is impossible to disregard. Of course not. Whew. I was innocent, you know? She can't get caught up in all this. I know. Never heard a friend of yours. Must they hurt me first, so it's a or something. Well, to me, that's the only use as a last resort. That's what I'm taught in karate. That violence against others who are violent teams should only be a last resort. First, try to talk things over. If that doesn't work, then try to run away and we'll call the cops. And if all else fails, only then should you strike back. So what do I do about Junpei? Still alive. And also you have involved in what we're going with Corpse Girl. Oh no. Actually, he did say something interesting. What did he say? I quote, Every person targeted by the human removal surface is ruled by the Herald's hand. End quote. The Herald? Who the tax is the Herald? Did you miss him? Was it supposed to be jailed? Ah. Herald. There was some profit in his there. Jupiter says he's immortal. Immortal? I'm not serious. The killings killed up by him personally. What the hell? How is that even possible? How can kill some, someone kill so many people without getting caught? It could be like a deal with the devil, like literally. Because, uh, the Exorcist in Lovely Rose, that was based off true events, so it's, if it's possible to get possessed by the devil, I imagine it's probably possible to make deals with him. I'll talk to some crotch to look scared by two thoughts was. Guess he's good. Ah, what a pain in the ass. Anyway, I'll take care of those worries. Thanks. I'm just trying to dig up something. Dig up? Not literally. Information online. I'm excited there for a moment. Don't worry. You'll be the first person not to tell if I decide to go digging up bodies. Ha, ah, thanks. I'll throw another girl's ladies away. It's gonna be the end of this chapter, ladies and gentlemen. Keep this from getting too long. Do what I'm doing. Please consider subscribing. I'll sub back very well.